Okay, welcome back. Uh, so now what we're going to do in this uh, layout and design is we are going to um, uh, import some more pictures and we're going to make some, some text wraps. So we're going to import a picture box, uh, draw a picture box, and actually make this text uh, wrap around uh, the picture itself, which is a standard uh, a standard way to, to throw pictures in and, and bump text out of the way to make sure everything works. And we're also going to change some color. Maybe you want to add some color uh, up in uh, in this stuff here, maybe to pull from from the image or and the pictures that we've that we put in here. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to throw in another picture, um, and this kind of comes back to our grid itself. If I was to hit the W key, and you see we've got uh, we got our grid running through here. We got the master grid all the way through here. Notice how things line up to that grid. Everything lines up to that grid. Pretty close. I should fix that right there. Um, as so what we have, what we're going to do is we're going to use this grid um, as a reference point to throw in more pictures. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture box. I don't want to do this. We're going to draw a picture box right here. And it's going to fit to that grid. Okay, it's going to span two, uh, two columns of the master grid, which is actually one column of the actual body grid. So everything fits inside everything else. Kind of like those little Russian egg dolls that, that you used to get uh, for Christmas time. You know, you got this one big doll, and then you open it up, and then you got another doll inside, or another doll inside, and it's kind of how, how layout works. Everything fits to, to a smaller grid, within a smaller grid, within a smaller grid. Um, just like pixels on uh, in a Photoshop file. Uh, so, but I digress. Uh, so what we're going to do is we got this picture box set up here. I'm going to set up the, 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 the picture, the wrap first. Um, just to kind of show you guys how this works and the shortcut for that and there's actually it's very close to uh, to the shortcut to close your your InDesign window just so you know and let me just make sure here yeah that was the wrong one luckily <laughs> you get this before you uh, you close it so I'm gonna hit cancel so it is uh, I believe it's a uh, command shift W nope There we go. The command is uh, Command Option W. So there it is. And if you ever do the uh, do the, do the shortcut and you wonder where on earth it's located in the pull down when you and you look up to when you do it, and you'll see when I'm doing this. It pops up. It's in the window here, and it should be text wrap. There we go, right there. Command Shift W. So I'm gonna pop that up again. So there's a text wrap. So and I've got my my little guy selected here, my uh, my text box, my picture box. I mean, and the text wrap can be applied to anything. It can be applied to a text box, a picture box, anything. So right now, it's defaulted just to this guy, and this just means that you know the the text is gonna flow over top of the box. The box is gonna go over top of the text. If I click on this guy here, which is gonna give me a wrap around the bounding box, which is this box right here. And I click on it. It's going to automatically push the text down. Now it pushes the text down because there isn't there's a gutter here on each side. And you see when I increase this is basically the padding, the text inset uh, or the, the the padding around this box, the wrap padding. You get this extra line. This is kind of like the the uh, the text wrap itself, the push. And it and you pushing the text out of the way and it expands, you know, on all sides equally. And you notice now it starts to push the text on the right and left sides and I'm just gonna it's an extreme version uh, uh, just to show you guys what's going on and it also pushes the text down here and flows it down notice when it pushes the text here I've got my white text that was formatted now I've got black text creeping in so I have to reformat this stuff because when you pop stuff in all the stuff flows so ideally what you do is you'd get all the text in first then you'd get all your body copy and stuff assigned and all your paragraph styles and and, and stuff and uh, character styles then you'd get all your your pictures where you want them to be um, you would uh, you'd get all the text wrap set up and then you would start formatting it to make sure you know your your text is is readable because if you start doing it kind of backwards sort of like what I did um, you're gonna get reflow happening and you'll get black text on perhaps a black background which won't be readable and uh, can cause problems for uh, for everyone in the future so just a little tip so what I'm gonna do is get this text wrap and um, I'm gonna and you see this little chain here I'll move this over here so you can see it again see this little chain here uh, this chain just links all the um, the top the bottom the left and right I can unlink that 
and I can modify each one individually. I can bring the bottom down. I can bring the you know everything down. Uh, I can keep keep it all left out. It all depends on what you want to do, what your layout is set up to. I can click on this again, and it'll automatically pick up the uh, the top the top one and apply it to all. So I'm just gonna pop this guy down just for right now. That's kind of how I want it. Um, so now after that's done, I'm gonna keep this text wrap up. I'm gonna throw in a picture here. Go Command D. Ah, let's throw in this. This atomic symbols. I don't know why I have this. It's just there. Actually, let's use something else, something a bit more fun. Um, we'll go to uh, images here. Let's get something interesting. I'll throw in a butterfly. How's that sound? Oh, here we go. We can throw in this. The three C's of, of design. This is a big Photoshop file, by the way. It's 146.5 megs. It's big. Um, so I'm going to throw this in. And you notice how it comes in? Well, it shows comes in huge. And right now, you can't even see it. And if you and when you're placing an image, by the way, you've got two ways to control it. You've got this. If you hit V, which is your um, selection tool, okay. This basically allows you to pick up. <laughs> you pick up the right one, and this is why we use layers. See, right now when I clicked on that guy, it's it's selecting all the text. If I hit F7, get my layers up, I'm going to lock that guy down. So now everything's locked except for my images. <laughs> 